Hello YouTube, I'm the Raging Beard and this behind me is the P1 cockpit from Sim Labs. I've got a direct drive wheel on the way to replace my G29. Um, I need something substantial to hold it, something decent to replace my Placey Challenge, which has been great. I thought I'd do a time lapse video building it, but I uh, can't get that to work properly, so I'm going to do it the old school way and just film it and speed it up afterwards. Uh, so, without wasting any more time, let's crack on.
Well, as you can tell it's dark out. That took a lot longer than I expected, but it's basically done. Um, a few issues. The keyboard tray I ordered isn't here. I emailed them, said it's missing, and they said, oh yeah, sorry, it's on back order, we forgot to tell you. The shifter play I ordered isn't here. Um, they said there's no reason on that. No reason for that, it's just a mistake. Okay. The mouse tray uh, I wish was silver because the black finish has arrived with marks in it. And none of the bolts, it, none of the bolts are short enough to mount it. Luckily, I had some washers in a box uh, in a cupboard, and that just made those bolts short enough to fit. Um, the cup holder. So, send you this cup holder. This cup holder. Um, and this is what's in the pack. You know, more of these T nuts. And these bolts, but you know who checks these things? It's too, the bolt's too small, and there's no bolts again that fit that that are short enough to mount the cup holder. All these little things are quite annoying. Um, you know, it's a lot of money and a long a long wait. I don't know how many bolts a day now. Yeah, so three and a half weeks. Um, but there you go. Um, well, I mean, it's not completely finished. I've got to put the end caps in. It's a bit late now to be knocking them in, really, do a rubber mallet. Um, I've ordered the front mount thing because I've got a direct drive wheel coming. It's not here yet, but I've managed to rotate that and mount the G29 to it. So that works in interim, interim, it's stiff. Um, and you know. Because the shifter mount isn't here, I've made my own little thing. Um, seems alright. Okay, so it's been a couple of days now since I completed the build, and since then I've done a few tweaks, modifications, moved things around a little bit. Uh, still not complete, Obviously I'm still waiting for the keyboard tray, proper shifter mount plate, and uh, more importantly, my drag drive steering wheel. But I thought I'd go with just how it is now, the, the tweaks I've made, a plan or two I've got, just for anyone else who might have a P1, and uh, give you some give you some things to think about. Okay, so first off, ignore the Fox Racing towel attached to the wall. That's literally there to help stop a bit of echo I get. Um, I'm going to put some sort of artwork up there. I'm thinking of maybe a large canvas of Vigo the Carpathian, if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's not some flag or nothing. So first up, the shifter here. So I've lowered this whole section right down from where you might see it in pictures usually. These are a couple of bits they just included in case I want to put butt kickers on. Um, just a couple of short bits of profiling, a bit of wood on there and it's on top. And that is obviously, un you know, totally rigid. Um, the shifter plate that I've ordered is like a, you know, a vertical piece of this with slots in it that you, you attach it to and can angle it however you want. A bit more minimalistic, a bit more adjustability, but this is perfectly fine in the meantime. Um, I have been concerned about noise, um, like impact transfer noise or whatever you call it. Um, it's quite loud, uh, especially the G29 at the moment. Well, now it's mounted rigid to something. It's really loud. Obviously, that'll be better when the direct drive comes. But in the meantime, I'm paranoid about the noise going through the floor because I'm on the first floor. So I've got this sort of rubber matting down here. I've actually got three layers of this on top of an old rug. So that's got to do the trick. I have thought another way you could do it, and it'd be easier while you're building it, is if you filled this stuff with sand. And I mean, that'd, I'd assume, really deaden it out because you get end caps so you could put one end on and just you know fill it um but i think this should do the job uh what else have i done so i just went to uh b and q you know hardware shop bought this hook that mounts perfectly in the profiling just somewhere to store your extra shifter knobs um 
there you go. And uh, uh, yeah, I imagine I'll be buying a leather one at some point, just for a bit more feel. So that's another slot for that. Keep it tidy. Um, what else have I done? Foot foot pedals seem really high to me. Now I'm not used to it. Um, in fact, you know, if you take your virtual floor as where your hill your hills sit on the hill plate, it's almost level with my ass, you know. Uh, and I don't do much formula like F1 and that, so I've gone onto a, a website and ordered shorter version of this so this whole thing will slot inside here just give me the option of lowering it in lowering it a little bit uh, maybe other pedals are lower but i mean if you look at how these work i mean they're, they're high anyway but so that's just you know something personal for me i want my foot pedals a little lower um the seat mounting the seat <laughs> was a pain be easier with two people these angled brackets here in the pictures you'll generally see them on the outside and Barry Rowland again I believe starts off with them on the outside but when you see later on he also has them on the inside as I've found out uh, is the best way otherwise they, they literally just come just too far um, so you know it's not a big deal but easier to know from the beginning just you know have them on the inside and lastly really um, with a cup holder just mounted here, you can't really see it there, so it's straightforward, it's just a plastic cup holder with the bolts on. And bought a USB extension cable to come all the way from across the room from my computer. Sit into this hub where you know the foot pedals, the gear shifter, the steering wheel, mouse and keyboard are all plugged into. I don't like to have them all on all the time, so this is a switchable, turn them off and on as I use them. Um, secured it with a bit of 3M dual lock sort of velcro stuff so yeah it's basically complete for now I've been using it quite a bit obviously uh, it is awesome I will say I've gone on to Motidis however you pronounce it a UK supplier of aluminium profiling in the UK and I priced up uh, how much it would be to buy this cockpit Obviously some of the bits are custom, but to buy every piece of aluminium profiling you see on there uh, in that exact size, length, uh, you know, so they get the 40 by 160 the large bits, so it, even though it's all of it, comes, <laughs> including shipping and VAT in the UK, to about £301. Um, like I said, it doesn't include the custom bits, so if you wanted a piece of the steering wheel you can buy that on its own from simplicity and that shipped is about 141 so yeah you're looking about getting on 440 odd 445 quid there you need some brackets and stuff but you could probably build this pretty much this all right you you know you'd have to do the foot thing a little different but that wouldn't be hard um you could probably build this minus a seat for 500 quid easily and do you have to go with the 40 by 160 i mean that's probably overkill in it you could easily do the whole thing well the whole base with 40 by 120 even 40 by 180 is it going to move you're going to save yourself some money that's not to detract from simplicity uh sim lab sorry uh they supply it all as is so it's an easy solution um, but if you want to save some money and you're prepared to maybe um, work things out for yourself then that is an option uh, if you do go do it yourself and you want this mount you need something here to space it out each side by 10 mil and then this comes with these plates so you couldn't just use typical um, angle brackets um, it wouldn't be wide enough to then fit this so you'd need to space it out 10 on either side but uh, i'm sure that wouldn't be hard to source and even really you don't even need to use that wheel mount you could use more profiling across and uh mount it a different way but anyway so that's pretty much it for now um sorry about the flickering light that's just my stupid demo doing that 
when I've got the direct drive wheel on there and everything, I'll uh, probably show you what that's like. Um, until then, 